Hi guys, it's off road RC four times four here. This is a video brought to you by RC Lighthouse, supplier of a custom LED lighting systems. In this how-to guide, we're going to tell you how to fit LED lights to your body and connect them to the receiver box. To insert LEDs on your body, you will need a tapered reamer or a circular fire, a pair of needle nose pliers, some electrical tape, hex drivers or allen keys to the model which they came with, some lights courtesy of RC Lighthouse, and a knife may come in useful. To remove the LEDs from the LED housings, you'll need to take your needle nose pliers and gently ease the LEDs out by pushing on the bulb. Repeat this process on all of the lights you may have. You should now have all of your LED housing separated from your LEDs. To insert your LED housings, you will either need a tapered reamer or a circular file and a LED housing. Check the amount that is needed to be removed from your previously drilled holes. Then take your file or reamer and make it large enough to accommodate the housing. Constantly check on the holes to make sure they're not too big for the LED housings. Once the holes are large enough to accommodate the LED housings, you must repeat the process on all of the other drilled holes. Now that the holes are large enough to accommodate the LED housings, undo the bolt. You'll find a washer and a nut. Now push the LED housing through the front of the body. Now it's flush. Put the washer on top, then put the bolt on. You can just do it finger tight, but if you want extra security, you can put you can do it with a pliers. to insert the LEDs into the LED housings. Get the right colours for where you want them and gently push them through until you get a nice snug fit. Repeat this process on the rest of the body. I have inserted the LEDs into the LED housings. Take some electrical tape and tape 
the wires to the roof of the body. I think tape is a lot better rather than gluing, because gluing is more permanent. Now the wires are taped to the body, they're out of the way. Now I need to plug the JR plug into the receiver box. We need to use Allen keys and needle nose pliers. Unplug the JST to make it easier to plug into the receiver box. This car is very compact, so we'll need to move the motor to get easy access to the receiver box. Undo the screw, and then push it out. Now we have full access to our receiver box. Undo this screw, this screw, and the two at the rear. Now the box is open, you'll see there are a lot of cables inside. You'll need to unplug them and remember where they went as you thread them through the slot. Gently ease the plugs through the small gap. So now you have easy access to the receiver box. Place your wire in a convenient place on your model. Thread the JR plugs back through the gap in the receiver box. Now plug the JR plugs in the same order you took them out and place the JR plug from the lights in any available slot.
Tuck all of your wires into the receiver box so you do not pinch them. If your receiver box is waterproof, make sure the seal is in the correct position to put the lid back on. Screw up your receiver box firmly to ensure waterproofness. Now the LEDs are installed, plug your battery and connect the JST and the lights will just light up. There you go, the LEDs are fully installed. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you had any problems or questions, there are links in the description or just pop a comment on this video. Once again, check out RC Lighthouse, links are all in the description.